Ooh, what is up guys? Jay and Poop here with another brand new playthrough. And this time we are going to do the third Resident Evil installment, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Uh, this one, well, this game is alright. It's not that bad, but still. But Resident Evil 2 was still better though. Even though this one is new and improved. I'm new and improved. Slightly. So, yeah. So, um, first I'm going to go into options again, and this music. Yeah, the options theme, it, it has music this time. And it's one of my favourite themes in this game. Like, the tone of the music is just so, um, <laughs> cool and all that. So, uh, we're gonna look at the, um, buttons, and I'm gonna have auto-aim on, and I am on the GameCube version again, so... Yeah, this screen is just directly taken from, uh, Resident Evil 2. But I'm gonna have auto-aim in, because I prefer that. Along with Type-A controls, they're... They should be the same as before. So, so do not worry about slightly different controls. Uh, Rumble will have that on. I don't know why you have to do that. I wish you could just press left or right here to turn it off and on. Same with sound, but you also have these options. A monitor tuning, we don't need to do anything there. Uh, reset is just resetting everything. And, um... And, uh, yeah, let's get started. But first off, there is a hard mode and easy mode. This also, this basically changes the game dramatically as well. In the Japanese version, the modes are known as light mode and heavy mode. But they're the same thing. But I'm going to play this on hard mode. Just because hard mode, you get extra things when doing certain things. And the, the other difference between... Um, we'll go through uh, later on. So, let's start the game, shall we? Here we go. Resident Evil 3. Different voice here as well. It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them. And that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions, but there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance. My last escape. Farewell to my life. 
farewell to my home. This is my last chance for survival. This is my last escape. So yeah, that's basically the Japanese subtitle for this game as well. And, as you can guess, yes, we play as Jill Valentine, again. Um, and now, the first difference in hard and easy mode is the gun you carry. So, in easy mode, you have a machine gun, but in hard mode, you have a pistol. Um, and there's more differences as well. You have, like, way more items in uh, uh, hard mode uh, um, and easy mode, I mean. Um... First, you have these instructions. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, the combine and check buttons are in the different positions now. Yeah, so you got to be careful, even if you're playing this in Japanese. So, it explains about. So we can check that, but we don't really need to. Is it me or is the font slightly different as well? I don't know if it's like that in the original PS1 version or if it's the GameCube version that only does this. But okay, then it's how bullets are. Uh, so, what that other item is, um, that we have there, uh, so that's obviously our pistol, the handgun. But the, this is the reloading tool. If we check it, a tool used to load mixed materials into an empty bullet. Uh, it is used to combine with gunpowder. Yes, there is gunpowder in this game. Uh, not the ones you get from the gunpowder plot, no. Uh, we're not going to Guy Fawkes history here, um, and all that, but still, yeah. You have your files here. Uh, there's quite a few files to get in the game. Um, and then your map is massive in this game. We're in Uptown. No, not Uptown Funk, <laughs> no. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, that, those are the differences so far. Yes, you can still get bitten by zombies. And your health remains the same. Um, I'll go into more controls in a moment, but first we got this cutscene. And even though this is the GameCube version, you cannot skip cutscenes, I don't think. I think you can, but when I tried this one, it didn't work. I don't know how Jill blasts through that door. With a shoulders button. Okay. September 28th, daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow. I'm still alive. Okay, we've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there. How dare you tell me to go back outside? I'm sorry about your daughter. But there isn't going to be any rescue. We have to get out of here. No! I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone! <laughs> He's just going to hide in there? The zombies might go in there eventually. <laughs> okay. Now, the other biggest difference in this game and the other two, first two Resident Evil games is that let's press down and B at the same time. Yes, quick turning. You can do that in this game. Uh, so you thought it started in Resident Evil 4, uh, 5, 6, um, every, or pretty much um, the other Resident Evil games before the first person ones? Nope, it started all in Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Uh, quick turning. I don't know if Code Veronica had it though, uh, because I never did quick turning in this game uh, when I first played it. Uh, I never knew it was a thing in this game. I just thought, because um, I, I played this on Dreamcast as well. The other difference here, if you notice, you don't have to press a button to go up the stairs anymore. Yay! You could just walk up them. So yeah, you still have to press a button to go through the door though. So yeah, that's still bullshit, but yeah. Right, and the save room music in this game, so relaxing. The warehouse key, we definitely want that. And this is also a save room, so the other difference in easy and hard mode, in, ha in hard mode you have to get increments to save, but on easy mode, 
uh, you would find increments already in your item box, and you have infinite increments. And these right here are gunpowders, and you can uh, use them on, um, I can show them how you use them. You can use these, uh, no, not check, uh, mixing ammunition, it can be, yeah. So we're gonna combine this here, and we get uh, handgun bullets. And I'm gonna get, uh, no, no. <sighs> because they changed the position. No! no! <laughs> They changed the position! It's so confusing. I'm glad Co Veronica changed it back. Um, uh, I'm gonna have more of those. For fuck's sake! <laughs> because they changed it! Okay, um, there we go, 60. We're gonna have more of those. But uh, obviously, you don't want it to- you don't want to use it on just handgun bullets. You want to use it on most other bullets in the game. Um, Another thing on easy mode is that you would also start with a, um, a first aid spray holder kind of thing. So you can carry three sprays in just one item slot. Um, obviously, you don't get it on hard mode, but still, it's very useful, trust me. Uh, the reloading tool, I, I, I won't need that uh, yet. Uh, I think that's all we need. You can use the knife as well, but we're not going to use the knife uh, too much. We're not going to use the knife ever, I don't think. Yes, you can save here. Um, yeah, it's the same as normal. Only this time, that the first thing about this game is that there's no other character to play as. Well, I think that there is during the story, but I mean, there's no character selection or two discs or whatever. It's just Jill Valentine here. So... But there is another character we will play as soon, later, so... Uh, during Jill's story, so... Uh, but it's not like, you know, like Resident Evil 1 and 2, where... You have Resident Evil 1, you have Jill and Chris, and then Resident Evil 2, you have Leon and Claire. Nope, this one is just Jill, so... Use the warehouse key, you no longer need this key, you can discard it, yes. So yeah, Resident Evil 3... Uh, takes place during Raccoon City. Uh, so you're in Raccoon City more than you were in Resident Evil 2. So... Okay, um... And thus you're mostly outside, and what was that? It was a zombie! Oh no! Um... I'm not gonna try and kill all zombies. Oh! This thing here, if you shoot that, it will make a massive explosion. They're basically like, uh... Well, not TNT barrels, but highly explosive barrels. I recommend you use them. If there's, like, multiple zombies in one place or something. Or if there's an enemy you can kill, but it takes too much damage. It's locked on the other side. Oh, God. Uh, let's go this side, then. Now, for a few first few parts, I get confused where to go, because I, I don't really remember too much of Resident Evil 3. But... Well, the original, anyway. I've not played the remake, uh, which is just called Resident Evil 3. But still... And yes, you still get herbs to heal yourself, along with the first aid sprays. Uh, you still use them to um, heal, and you still get red and blue, red and blue ones as well. So, yeah. Luckily, we don't have to press the A button to go down the stairs anymore. We can just uh, walk up them. I think you do have to press the buttons again in Code Veronica, though. Even though Code Veronica was made after this game. Oh, fuck you, zombie! Um, okay, nothing useful. The other difference in this game is that there's a lot of ledges to climb up as well. Uh, oh, it's locked on the other side. Oh, good. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna go through this way then. Is there anything here? The door has been sealed. Uh, there's nothing there. Oh, oh shit. Oh. oh, there's something there. Or not, because it looks like there's something on the ground. Okay, I'm surprised I'm not caution yet. Okay. Right, there's the map. I think that's the map, is it? Oh, Jill, get it, there we go. The Uptown map. You definitely want this map. You can see this is a big area. Uh, I don't know if you can change size. Oh, you press the R button on GameCube controller to change the location. There's Uptown, there's also Downtown, I believe. And there's quite a few other places as well. Um, um, so yeah, this is a massive area. 
Is there anything here? No. There is these herbs, though, that I'll get. Uh, uh, Jill, pick it up. There we go. Uh, is there anything up? No. There isn't. So we just go down. And then... I believe we go this way. And then... And oh, who's that? Who was shooting that zombie there? Oh, now we're on caution. Okay. So there's something here. It looks like a crank thing that we can use, but we don't have the crank yet. So we'll come back for that later. Is there anything here? Oh, I've got an itchy nose. Oh my god. Let's go in here. So we meet another member. I'm just gonna shoot him. There we go. And he can kill it fully as well, but it, but it's faster if you do it as well. Brad, hang in there. Why isn't someone doing something about this? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. He's after Star's members. There's no escape. Hmm, okay. And there's something shiny over there. A payphone. No, uh, there's something shiny. There we go. Oh, lighter. You definitely want that. I think in this game you have to combine it with something in order to make like a super lighter or something. I don't know. There's a fire here. Oh, what is it? Clock Tower postcard. Okay, it's just a clock tower. No, not the horror game series, no. Uh, even though it could be a reference to it, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Find some handgun bullets there. Uh, I believe uh, that, that leads to that locked door that we tried to enter, the way it says it locked on the other side. I think that's where it takes us, so we're not going to go there. We'll just, um, go this way. There's no zombies here. Other good thing about the GameCube version is that it's got the high quality, uh, rooms from the PC version. So, at least we got that benefit, at least. Um, there we go. Uh, good thing this game has quick turn. Whoa, shit! You get off me. Stop sexually harassing... Jill Valentine, because she's not your Valentine. <laughs> okay, um, I believe we went from that way. Is there anything this way? There's a door here. What is this way? Okay. Oh, I think I remember this. Um, yeah, zombies on this side, and we need something to go through here. And then the zombies are chasing us here. So what we can do here is wait for them to come up. I'm going to stand back a bit. Then wait for most of them to come. Those two down there are not going to really going to come. Then one, two, ten. Boom. It kills all that were near there, that were near there at once. We still have to kill these ones though. But still... God damn it. And again, it is wreck. Oh. Yeah, well, I'm danger already, so I'm gonna. No, 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 no! Because they changed the fucking position! From the other games. Oh my god. Oh, god damn it. Gotcha. Uh, oh, there's red herbs here. I definitely want them. Then I'll combine it with our green one, and then we can use the other... Oh, we got a photo. Not that we need it, but okay. Um, was it on the zombie's smashed face or something? I don't know. 
Okay, there we go. I've got to get used to this again, because uh, I remember that. Um, yes, it's like that in all versions, by the way. The Dreamcast, PS1, PC, and even the GameCube version. Oh, yes, we use that here. Oh. Oh, we need oil. Uh, oh, yeah, that's the thing we need for this lighter. We need oil. Okay. But, yes, you do use the lighter there, so... Uh, to burn that. And then you can progress. But we need to find some oil. Um, so we're going to go this way. We've opened the lock. Then we're going to go through this door. And then... Oh, that's the other side door. Yeah, I know that. Um, okay. Um, where do we need to go? There's a red sign there. But um, it's likely those are locked and you need keys. So the S's mean they're save rooms, luckily. Uh we have sales office. Luckily, we can find the locations of different places. Um, uh, we are here, so... That's the place where that man was hiding there. Um, <laughs> uh, and then the safe room nearby. That's that. Um, so it's either we go... Okay, let's... Um, oh! Oh, there's a survivor there. We don't know if we get to see that survivor more, though. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on a moment. Hold on a moment. How about this? Boom! Oh, that one exploded into bloody pieces. Oh, holy shit. I'm gonna shoot your chest. There we go. I'm gonna shoot you in the knob. do 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 and shoot your boobies. <laughs> oh, you're not dead. Yeah, the gun is not really powerful. Um, in the uh, the pistol's not really that powerful in this. Compared to Resident Evil 2, it was like a god, almost. Well, not really, but you get the point. It was slightly more powerful than the first Resident Evil. But now it's less powerful here, the, the handgun. Now, is there something else this way, aside from that door? We can go through the door, but what's through the door? That's the question. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, I remember this. Um, you get something through here. Um, those zombies are fast. What the fuck? Oh, 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 chill. You're reloading. Shoot his, shoot his dick. Yay! Shooting zombie dicks. Alright. Okay. okay, he's dead. Alright. Because zombies don't die quick with the pistol. Oh, no, no, no. My god, no. Shoot his penis. And shoot your penis as well. Shoot in your forehead. There we go. And we go down here, and there's something useful down here, aside from shooting a zombie dick. Um, um, there's this. Lighter oil, yes, you definitely want that. And we combine it with... No, no I keep fucking forgetting! There we go. And then you make a normal lighter. And then this down here, on the, on the zombie's crotch, you get the shotgun. This is very useful. You definitely want the shotgun. Um, uh, it's better than the handgun uh, for this game, obviously. But I'm still going to use the handgun for a few parts, like killing a lot of zombies. But I'll use the shotgun over everywhere else. Uh, is there anything this way? <laughs> Looks like there's a door. We're here. Oh, that's the other side, of course, yeah. Um, right, I'm confused where to go now. Um, oh, of course, that back to that other area. Okay, um, we'll go there. I only get confused because I don't remember too much of Resident Evil 3. Oh! There's something that- Whoa! Jill, no time for reloading and, and keep shooting on zombie dicks. Uh, we've got to- Okay, there we go. Am I- yeah, I'm on danger already. Holy shit. 
Um, can we use the red herb on its own? No, we cannot. Well, we're using a lot of herbs already. Okay. Um, oh, I'm going the wrong way here. I think there's something in there. Yeah, there is gunpowder B. The gunpowder B, uh, I think, gives better ones. And if you combine that with the A, you'll get gunpowder C. Uh, so, yeah, there's A, B, and C. Uh, if you combine two A's, you get um, an A, A. Two B's uh, is a B, B. And, and two C's is a C, C. I don't know if um, you can have an A, B or, or a B, A or something, but... I, don't, I, I doubt not, but still. Okay. Uh, oh, he's not dead, seriously. Oh, I'm out of ammunition already. Wow. Losing ammunition very quick. All right, one, two, three. Yeah, shoot his forehead. There we go. So we went through there. Is there anything this way? I don't know if there is. There's a corridor. And a zombie. Oh no! He killed someone! Oh no. <sighs> oh wait, that's the that's this oh, yeah, that's that room, okay. Um In fact I could combine the gunpowder B to see what we get. I don't know what we'll get. It is random what we get, so. Yeah, so far we're wasting a lot of ammunition. That's why I don't recommend killing all zombies at once. Um, and just skip a few. Um, let's use the reloading tool to see. Oh, we get shotgun shells. We definitely want that. Uh, I'm not going to need the handgun anymore. Um, in fact, I'll put the reloading tool up top there and then... So then I can always get it from the top. So, uh, let's just, uh... There we go. I don't know if we'll need a first aid spray and all. I might do, actually. Um, so I'll take it just in case. Um... No, I'm trying to combine it. Oh my god, because they changed the positions. I don't know why they did that. I, w I wish there was a hack of this which changes it <laughs> to the different locations. Because, oh my god. How are they going to do that? Let's go through here. I don't know how Jill ended up here and all, since there's no other room to go back to the very first part of the game. <laughs> where you get the cutscene of Jill going through the door. Since there's no cutscene like that, I don't think. So how does Jill get in there? Since this is not the place, obviously, so... Uh, there's nothing in there. So there's nothing that way. Um. Okay, let's... Um, go this way, then. I gotta hope I don't waste a lot of... Uh, my bullets because oh wait I've... was there something else in there no I don't think there is no <laughs> okay it's just a wrecked car but which way is the other entrance is it up there or or is it down there I think it's up there okay um I think it's here. Uh, we go up here. So we gotta go over here. And then we gotta find the um, fireplace. Which is not that. Um, it is. Um... Okay, I'm going past it. Um, it is literally up here. It's literally through here, I believe. Yeah, I think it's here. Yes, it is. It's right there. We need to have the lighter and the oil. We need some lamp oil. Wait, what? Don't need to use it now? 
soak with oil. Oh, there we go! <laughs> Why did it not work before then? Then it's on fire, we need to touch the fire to open the door. <laughs> okay. Um, is there anything else? Well, oh, there's something on fire there. Oh, and dogs! Um, go past them, go through that door. There's a save room here, luckily. So we can save here if we want. Uh, I believe... I don't know if you get ink ribbons too often here. Or if it's only certain places you get them. Oh! This is where we can um, could combine some um, gunpowder. But I need more... Um, but I need more uh, uh, shotgun shells. So I might as well... Um, In fact, let's see what the... I'm gonna, so, the gunpowder C, and let's see what that gives you. Grenade rounds, okay. So, not even though we don't have a grenade launcher yet, we can use that later. So, yeah, the, the mixing is very useful here. And I don't know if I'm going to need a lot of health for the next thing. Uh, it depends. Okay, oh shit, dogs! Oh no! I hate dogs. The books it says up there. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, this part. This is where. This is where the Raccoon City Police Department is located. So yes, you get to go in there, but we're not going to yet because. Something will happen if we go there. Uh, I need to see if there's something else first before doing that. And is there something around here? It's locked with a simple lock. Oh. Well, I don't know how I'm gonna... Because we're about to fight something that we might need a lot of ammunition for. And if we don't have a lot, then we're screwed. Um, unless... Unless there's like something around here, I don't know. Um, because this is like one of the main parts of the game that we gotta encounter. So, so yeah, this is gonna be very tricky. You know what? I'm gonna save, and uh, then um, I'm also just gonna. Uh, not do that. Get in the door. There we go. Uh, but I'm also going to get the knife out in case I lose ammunition. Because I might definitely do. So, uh, I'm going to get the knife out. And I'm going to... I'm going to save just in case anything happens. Uh, because it's recommended to save... I'm gonna slot A and the first slot, and it's just the lo it just shows the location you're in. It doesn't show the character or anything, so it's not gonna say Jill is in this area, blah 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 blah, uh, at all. So, and again, if you're on easy mode, you will have infinite increments, so you don't have to worry about um, anything. Okay, I'm not gonna kill those dogs uh, because of wasting ammunition. So, yeah. Yeah, I recommend a lot of ammunition for this, uh, because we're fighting something that is going to be for the entire game, almost. And we'll always chase Jill, every time. So we go through here, then we get a cutscene. Yes, we meet this tyrant called Nemesis. And here we get an option here. It says, do we want to fight the monster or enter the police station? And you have a few seconds to do this. Now, if you want to get uh, best things, I recommend fighting him. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to fight him. 
So, yeah, and he is super difficult. Um, because he'll run across and always punch you and grab you. And, come on, no. Oh my god. Alright. I recommend you keep shooting him. Because if not, you're going to have too many problems. You always get stunned a lot as well. Right, we're on caution, okay. And he'll run too much as well. So you want to be very careful and... Okay, we're low on health already. Um, I'm going to combine this. I recommend you do that. Oh shit! No, get off me! Alright, I'm gonna combine this one more time. And then that's the last of our shotgun. Oh no! No! No, no, no! It is possible to get him stuck, but it's so tricky to do. One technique only works in the original PS1 Japanese version. Uh, and it was fixed in all other versions. So, yeah. Come on. No! 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 Are you serious? Oh god. No, 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 no. Right, I'm, I'm lost ammo. Get off me, get off me, get off me. Oh my god. I think I'm on danger already. No, I'm still on caution. Okay. I'm gonna have to use the knife. This is gonna be so tricky. Especially with no ammunition. Like no 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 Just bash buttons and then No 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 I'm dead <laughs> You can see how difficult he is He is so hard Like especially at this part of the game you don't have ton I don't have a lot of ammunition but still It's also why you should not kill too much zombies, uh, because of this. So yeah, you gotta be very careful, but defeating Nemesis on hard mode brings you, you get good items, trust me. In fact, we don't need the lighter now either, so we could put that away and all. I should have put that away before. Luckily, you can skip FMV cutscenes still. Um, oh god. But yeah, he is so hard to defeat. Especially just running away from him alone is the hardest part of all this. And I don't think there were any green herbs around here at all. No, there's nothing around here at all. And the other door on the other side is locked. I'm, su I'm assuming you get something from the police station and then then you get it from there. So we're going to skip the cutscene. And then we get the option. We're going to fight the monster. Whoa! Okay. Get off me! Except you throw Jill on the floor. And are you going to pick her up again? Oh my god. I just recommend you keep shooting him too much. No, stop it, naughty boy. No, no. Oh, okay. Um, we got him there. Um. Oh. No. Okay. No. Oh no 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 no. Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! No! 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 I'm on danger! I'm on danger! No! 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 I didn't have time to heal. Oh my god! Oh! I didn't have too much time to heal. Why? He is so hard. Especially on hard mode, he is way hard. Like I don't think it matters if you defeat him too much, but. If only I can get him stuck somewhere, then that would be nice. Because if you get him stuck, then it makes this easier. And you can literally just use the knife or even the pistol to, to bring a few shots on him. But 
But yeah, he is like the hardest part of this game, <laughs> Nemesis. Because he is a tyrant. He's similar to Mix Mr. X, or Mr. Sex, as I like to call him, in Resident Evil 2, uh, for Scenario B. Only, this is for only one playthrough, and it's for the entire game. Oh, oh god. Alright, I shot him there. And he's gonna throw me, but he's gonna grab me again. Or, or not. Um, he's a good boy there. But he's gonna grab Jill again. Then I get put on the floor. Okay. Pause. Okay, I'm still fine. Oh, got grabbed! No, 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 no! I'm dead. Yep. <laughs> I think, uh, because I'm trying to get him quick, and all, and it's hard overall, so, I think uh, I'm going to have a lot of dying in this playthrough just because of fucking Nemesis. Oh my god. Luckily, we did save, though, uh, and if you're on um, easy mode, you can save in infinitely. And you have your machine gun a lot as well in easy mode, so you can use that on him. But here, we don't have too much ammunition at this point. Like, if I die again and if I keep raging, then we'll have to choose the option to just go in the police station. Because we do have that option as well. But I just, I just recommend fighting him too much. I just recommend you fight him because... Um, because you get good stuff out of him on hard mode. In easy mode, you get nothing from him. But on hard mode, you can't. You will get like ammunition and other useful things. All right, I'm gonna fight him again. I'm gonna run! Oh no! 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 Okay. All right, I can. No! Okay. Oh, come on. He chooses to run whenever I stop. Come on. Lazy git. Run away from here. No. I can't get up. I need, I need to pause quickly. I need to pause. No. I'm dead. Yeah. It looks like I'm going to have to choose the option to go in the police station. And s uh, now, not all of these options, but there are more options in this game. Some of these do link to what ending you get. There is a good and bad ending, and only some of these affect it. I don't think this one does, so... Uh, I don't mind what ending I get. I I'm, hope I'm hoping to get a good en the good ending, but still, um, but it is, it is great to get, um, uh, to get the good ending, so... Yeah, so I'm not going to fight him. Why the fuck not? But I do recommend fighting him. If I was... If I had, like, tons of ammunition, I will fight him. But because I don't... No, I can't be bothered. But at least we get to see what it looks like, um... Um... What happens when we choose the other option. Because the options do different things. <laughs> There are crazier ones later on, uh, so yeah, that is the main thing of this game, like choosing what to do. It's kind of like in RPGs, pretty much. Right here. <laughs> okay. So we're going to run in there instead. You get this cutscene. Yeah, you can dodge in this game, but I forgot what button you do it. And you go in here and... And the door is like that, and it's too dangerous to open the door, yeah. So yeah, we're back in the Raccoon City Police Station from Resident Evil 2. Only this time we have more things to find. And yes, we should have had these while fighting Nemesis, if we had the knife still. But we didn't. And some doors are boarded off, because obviously those rooms are not in the game's files, so we could not go in them. Uh, I don't know if there are, actually. That door has stopped moving. 
But let's go through the police station. That is blocked off. We can't go in that save room. I don't know if that's boarded off. No, it's not. We can go in there. So there's only a few rooms we can go through here. And we still... And yes, some music has been redone from... Has been reused from Resident Evil 2. Even the JoJo lock is still there. Um, and yes, um, even the Welcome Leon sign is here. Because they still expected uh, to have a party when Leon joined in. And why are you aiming that way, Jill? Aim at... Zombie! Oh my god, it didn't kill him. There we go. I tried to aim at their heads because it's an insta-kill. Oh, there's Marvin. Yes. He's faintly wounded by zombies. Is he holding something in his hand? Marvin's report. How how would he write that after his death? Come on. Um, is there something there? No. So yeah, these rooms were taken directly from Resident Evil 2. Um, uh, so yeah, we're literally playing Resident Evil 2 Jill Edition. <laughs> no, not really. Um... So there's only a f few rooms you can go through, and there's something here. A blue gem, you'll need that. There was definitely items that weren't in Resident Evil 2 in all. Is there anything here? It's like with a simple lock. Oh. I think we still need small keys. Oh, you gotta enter a code here. I don't know if it's the same as Resident Evil 2, is it? So, no, no! Oh my god. I wonder if it's the same as Resident Evil 2. Oh, no, it isn't, because there's no six. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know, then. Unless we have it in a file somewhere. Unless we got it in Marvin's report. Let's see. Um... Marvin's report. Is it somewhere here? No. Okay. Well, I don't know how to open that then. Um, I think we find a file somewhere, and I just didn't know what I forgot what the code was. Um, okay. Oh, there's another female zombie there. Oh, got a face. There we go. There's these zombies here as well. One, two, three. Boom! Two at once. It's best if you get two at once, so then it saves ammunition. Oh, as you hear and all. It's so fast. Alright, let's go here. And yeah, this, it's the same save room. I wonder if- is there anything in this locker this time? Oh, there's just gunpowder. Okay. Uh, and there's definitely ink ribbons here. Um, we'll want them. Um, okay, um... I don't think we'll need that. Uh, or that. We might need these. Um, I'm gonna... David's memo, okay. Right, there's ink rooms here. Um, I wonder what the film room is like this time. This, um, nothing suspicious. Oh, so it's not usable in this game at all. Okay, it's a pointless room then. Okay, um... Um, I don't know what to take. Because obviously that's just handgun ammunition, and I don't need them. So how about we save the, the gunpowder for later? How about that? And luckily these combine automatically, so... That's good. Is there anything in these lockers? Because there wasn't in Resident Evil 2, definitely not. Okay, no, there isn't. All right. Okay, I guess I'll combine those then, and then let's get out. There's a zombie there. And let's go up the stairs. Oh yeah, you can just you don't you don't have to press the button anymore. Of course. So you walk up it slightly still to then get up here. Oh god! But I don't care about killing that one. There's that 
jewel place we got. The statues are gone now. Uh, I don't know where they are. <laughs> okay. And then there's this corridor. Um, Star's office. It's locked. The star's key to unlock it, though. Um, and that's boarded off. Because we can't go through there. There's two red herbs here. Oh, my God. And pick it up, Jill. Jill. Jill, pick it up. There we go. Okay. We're going to... So... So the boarded up doors are basically rooms that are not in this game. So... Completely unused and not in the game's files at all. So... So don't think you'll be getting um, a Resident Evil 2 Jill Valentine edition or something. Or a Jill Sandwich edition. Um, so, yeah. Don't expect that. Uh, for Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. And I believe the map is unique as well. Yeah. Yeah, the map is sometimes just basic like this. But you can also make too many sounds. <laughs> okay, um... Let's not do that. Um, right, this door. Oh, of course, that's that corridor. Yes. Um, and I've heard a zombie, so there's a zombie there. Is there anything here? Oh, yes, there is. <sighs> oh, let's hope we can do that. Um, I think we can. Oh, my God. And I now welcome a new governor of Raccoon City, Jill Valentine! Okay, no, uh, what is this? Oh, it's the stars card. It looks like Jill's. Um, okay. Uh, oh, I should have brought the lighter here. Um, I don't know if we can use that here at all. Um, in fact, I'll reload like this. Okay, I don't know if we can use the lighter here. If so, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it back. Um... Is there anything here? Increments, yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, and the increments you get in hard mode, uh, they're not in the, they're not there on easy mode. So there's nothing else in its place, I don't think. Well, as far as I know, um, there might be. I don't know. But as far as I know, not really. Okay. So then we gotta go. I'm gonna kill this zombie! Kill the zombies! One, two, three, BOOM! Headshots! One, two, three, BOOM! BOOM! Lovely! Oh, I didn't even shoot him? Seriously? And he's going through the wall, oh my god. Despite the fact that I'm... Oh no, we cannot go past! But then again, that door does lead from another side, so at least we could use that room, at least. Come on. Maybe they didn't have enough room for the game to put the other room in. Maybe they didn't have enough space. But there is more space on GameCube, at least. But there wouldn't be enough room on PlayStation. But there is there could have been enough room on GameCube, or Dreamcast, at least. But still, to put it in, but... Oh, well. Let's go in here. And get the um, let's get the lighter and see if we can. I, I don't know if it. I don't know if there is a a possibility in this game, but because in the original Resident Evil Two, you, you get um, the jewels from there. So right, I'll put these here. Uh, we'll need. Uh, we might need that later. Okay, I'm just gonna get the lighter because who knows? We might need it. Who knows? <laughs> let's see. God. Okay. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, this room. And then we're gonna. Go to the fireplace. Fireplace. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Um, something you can do with the fireplace. Wait. 
There's nothing you can... Wait, what? Oh, no, there's nothing there. You cannot get anything. I kind of wish you got something, like more gunpowder or something. That would have been good. But you just can't use it. <laughs> no. So I did that for nothing then. <laughs> well, we got the stars card at least, so we can put that some. We can uh, use that computer, I believe. I think we use the computer and then... Uh, I need to put that away first. I'll kill him first there headshot lovely head explosions fuck yeah <laughs> all right we might need the blue gem for later so I'm gonna you know what I'll combine these now there we go and I believe nemesis will come back here so will come into the RPD building, so you've got to be careful. And it will be somewhere around here, so... you got to keep in mind of that as well. So with the stars card, I don't know if we use it on the computer. I think we do. If not, then I think you just put it in front of the doors and then... <laughs> and then bam. Because I believe when you're outside, if you were fighting Nemesis, if you went near Brad, who was killed, you would actually get another card, I believe, and you can use his <laughs> um, as well. Some more h gun bullets. Lovely. There's a save point here. Oh, what's this? Is that the map? Yes, it is. There's only one room to enter. Okay, uh, we use this computer? Yes, we use the card here, okay. Due to emergency, the card has been moved to the evidence room. 0513. Oh, that's the passcode for the safe! Okay, um, so it's 0513, okay. Let's go there then. To the locker room. <laughs> okay, we're not doing Batman here. Okay. Um. Ooh, naughty zombie. Oh, and because we're on the American GameCube version, we get the uncensored uh, head uh, zombie head kicking, which was only uncut in the Japanese version original, and it was removed in other English versions. Um. And there's something else in the game that is also censored in the Japanese version, but uncut in the English version. Uh, the GameCube version has it uncut both. So, yeah. But only American GameCube versions. So, yeah. For some reason. Uh, so, it's 0, 5, 1, 2. Oh, wait, no, it was 1, 3. Okay, um. It was 0, 5, 1, Free. Yes, there we go. <laughs> the emblem key. Yeah, we'll need that. In order to... I think it's to that other room. Okay, um... And luckily, we can, we're can we close to it, so... Unless we use the stars card again. Uh, I think. I'm not sure, though. Alright, here we go. Alright. There's a zombie up here. Zombie! Naughty zombie! No, no, no! Oh, there's another zombie. Oh my god, it's a chubby zombie. Might be the chief. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Use the. Oh, oh, that's what the emblem key is for. I thought you'd use the stars guard because it said so. But no. I think what it means is use the stars card and then you find the key. And yeah, it's that room that you can get that picture. I don't know if you can get the secret image in this game as well. Um... Oh, lockpick! Definitely want that. Because uh, you don't have that permanently uh, with you. Um, I think you have to manually have it in order to use it. So it kind of looks like it says 41 there as well. <laughs> um, all right. Is there anything in here? Yes! Magnum! Definitely want that, especially against Nemesis. 
Okay, uh, is there anything else here? Like, anything on that file? Aside from an image of a magnum? Okay, nothing. Is there anything here? No. There is definitely something that side. Um, Jill, what are you doing? What, what the fuck? Seriously? More handgun bullets, okay. Oh, there's no more. I thought there was two <laughs> stacked onto each other, but no. Um, anything else here? No. Okay, um, I have no... Oh, wait, there might be something here. It's out of commission. I can't send any messages from here. Oh. But you couldn't do that in Resident Evil 2 either. Um, okay, there's nothing else in here, I don't think. Oh! Okay, so it partially works then. Well, I'm not sure where you go then. I think you just get out of the building. Because we seem to have everything. Yeah, we got the lot pick. We still have the stars card. I don't know if we need that or anything. I think we just get out. <laughs> and that's it. Unless we find Nemesis here. And we're going to try and fight him. Hello, zombie. Oh, can we go through that door now? No. We cannot. <laughs> and not even the other side as well. Oh! You hear that? That means Nemesis has broken. Yes, Nemesis will appear a lot of times in this game. Go here. <gasps> yep, he's right there! And he's got a massive gun. And I'm... Am I dead? Oh, shit. And I didn't save. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I have to do everything again, then. I'll meet you guys back. Oh, here's a fun fact. You can look at a picture here. Of the Bravo team. <laughs> kind of cool. Okay, guys, we're back. <laughs> My apologies for that Just bullshit there. And, uh, I'm just at the part where Nemesis, uh, came in, so, yeah, and we got the grenade launcher this time instead of the magnum, so yes, it is random, unfortunately, from what you get, so, it is random, so, I don't know if we'll need this, though, um, I don't know if we'll need the stars card anymore, at all, um, I'm not really sure on that. Um, okay, we don't have too much health equipment. Um, I'm trying to think what we need if we're going to kill Nemesis, or if we're going to try and kill him. Um, in fact, just in case, we'll save again. Is there anything else in here? No. And I think the code to go to that locker is also random every time as well. So yeah, this this game has like uh, random stuff happening. Dark room. Seriously. Just a unique name. Why not police station? Like unless um, they also like police station only if we save the, the, the other place. But I don't know. Because Nemesis is right here, oh my god. Stars. Oh my god. And I'm in danger, seriously. I did save, luckily, though. Yes, you can get killed a lot with Nemesis, so I recommend saving a lot. Especially on easy mode. Uh, if you're on easy mode, you have infinite increments, so I recommend you save almost every time. 
So, yeah. Just so you're safe. And you can always put the increments away. I think I'll, um, get those mixed herbs, actually, in case I'll need them. So I'm gonna use the shotgun. Lots of times. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. Okay, he's right here. You can't get me from that. Whoa, no. Well, you can't really get me from there. I don't know if I was shooting him enough, though. Okay, I'm on danger, so I'm gonna use that. Oh god. nearly down. No! Oh, I took him down! Yes! Oh, but he's still awake. So we're still gonna... Oh, no! I'm dead! <laughs> no! I thought we took him down. But no. You can tell how hard he is. Oh my god. This is taking forever. Oh god. And the and the safe room music changes when um whenever you're near Nemesis or not, so Yeah, that's another cool thing about this game. Um, in fact, I will take the, no, not the knife, I'll take the grenade launcher in case. Um, in fact, I'll use the grenade launcher. It might be better to use than the <coughs> shotgun. But yeah, I recommend you kill Nemesis a lot. He'll always come back to life, obviously, but... But, still... Oh god, whoa! Oh, I think you just press the A button while he's near you to dodge. Uh, definitely. Oh, I don't have... Oh no! I don't have... Um... Okay. Okay, I knew I would die. I forgot to bring them out. Oh no. I forgot to bring the herbs out. Evil. Instead of in the original, it just says Resident Evil in a different voice, or same with Biohazard. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm dying a lot in this video. I think I, I would uh, expect me to fail a lot in this playthrough because of how difficult this game is. It's it's harder than the others, it seems, because of Nemesis. Um, I'm just going to put them away. And I'm going to get these. In case I need them. Okay, here we go. Again. Nemesis, here we go. Whoa, no! Oh my god. Go away! Oh, he's right there! Oh, he still killed me! Seriously? Wow, what the fuck is wrong with fucking Nemesis? So yeah, I think these videos may uh, be like, probably like four videos or something on this, I don't know. Because um, <laughs> how fucking tricky this is. Holy crap. It takes too much effort to kill Nemesis, seriously. Okay, um... Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, I recommend the grenade launcher, but still. Alright, immediately as he comes! Shoot! No, no, no! Jill! What is wrong with you? Okay, I'm on danger already, so... Not only can go combine this, but also... Oh! It fills up all of it, okay. 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 Oh my god, he can't shoot me from here. That's good. Okay, right, while he's on the floor, I'll use my normal pistol. Then. So I'll use the shotgun now. Oh shit. It's nearly down. No! Oh, I nearly had him. Oh my god. He is so hard, literally. He's so difficult. <sighs> I can't fucking do this. Oh my god. He is so hard. I'd say I need more health. Way more health. So I'd say we take... Both this and that. And then take all of the that. Because I forgot that a grenade launcher can have all of it at once. Um, okay. Um, might need the card after, so. So we might need both of these, okay. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna run quickly. Oh, I'm on the pistol. God damn it. Okay, here we go. What? He can dodge as well. Seriously. Oh, come the fuck on. Seriously. <sighs> Shit. Really? Why the fuck is Nemesis so hard? <sighs> fuck me. What is wrong with him? Because I want to kill him so I can get uh, a lot more items. Um, okay. So we might need lot picks uh, still, so... Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Dodge him there. Whoa, no. Stars. Oh, whoa. Oh, come on. Oh, you could clearly hit him from there, but just not... Oh, right, we're on danger, luckily. We can use that. He's about to use his gun. Now he's about to come here, oh my god. Ha, ah, you can't shoot me from here, ha <laughs> could easily get you, ha <laughs> Okay, you're here. I'm gonna change the shotgun. Okay, I'm gonna uh, need that now. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I, ne I think I nearly got. No! Luckily, my health is way up. No! Thank god. No! Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna need this. 
No! Oh, didn't get him yet. Okay, we'll need this. I'm gonna combine that. Here we go. I think he's... Oh, yes! Yes, he drops this! Eagle Parts A. I don't know what that is. Um... Uh, let's check it. Um, a set of weapon parts, a scope, and a slide. I don't know what you plug that into. A weapon cannot be made from these parts alone. Is that for the shotgun? No. For this? No. No, it's for, like, a completely different gun. Yes. You get useful weapons, mostly weapon parts, I believe. Or sometimes gunpowder. So it's best to kill Nemesis a lot as you can. I only don't recommend fighting him if uh, if you're in like really dangerous areas. So yeah, or if you don't have a lot of ammunition. So yeah. So we'll save that for later. I don't know if we need the stars card. Um. Okay. Um. I don't think we need the stars card ever again. So. Oh god! I got ghosts. So I think that could just stay in there. We'll need the lockpick a lot, though. Um, okay, uh, let's get out of here, then. And Nemesis does not come back here, so... He will come back in the other areas in the game. And some areas are very tight and all, so they're going to be very tricky to... It's going to be very tricky to fight him. Yeah, trust me. Nemesis is... Kind of like Mr. X, but worse. And because we've got the lockpick, can we go here? Yeah, we can. Oh, it's just another blue... Oh, it's the blue gem. I, f I forgot about that. Because I didn't get it before. Okay. I don't know what we need the blue gem for, anyway. Uh, I don't really know. I think the I think everything's done here. Oh, wait. There is red herbs. Red herbs in... Um, one of the corridors that I missed because I was redoing it uh, a lot of times because I kept dying. So I'll get them first before... Before going, um... Ugh, I forgot what I was saying now. Uh, before getting out of the RPD. Uh, we can check if, uh, if we can still get that card from Brad. Uh, Vickens. Uh, so... Zombie there. No! Oh my god. Because... Right, I'm... No, I'm just gonna... One, two, three, boom! I'm just gonna use the shotgun. There we go. One, two, three, boom! Oh, two headshots at once. Lovely. Right, there's no auto aim in activated here, so... Okay, we're good. Uh, there's two of these, so I can use them for the green herbs later. Um, and because the other side before the RPD, the other door, we need a key for. So, well, first I'll put the, I'll put those herbs away so we can use them later. Right there. Is there anything else uh, that we need? So we don't have any gunpowders. No, I don't think so. So I, I think we're just gonna. Uh, um, I know. I don't know if there's. I don't know if there's an upgrade to have more slots in on you, like in, there was in Resident Evil Two. Uh, but I don't know if there is one in this game. If so, then yes, I'll definitely need it. Uh, let's just get out of this police station. There's nothing else we can do here. God, wow. Took us an hour to get here. It usually takes, like, about 30 minutes to get here. If you're playing the game normally, if you played it before, but still. But man, it's just because of Nemesis. He's so difficult. 
like really is on hard mode. On easy mode, he's all right, but he's still hard. So, regardless of difficulty, so yeah, and you can't get out. So I think we have to get out. Yeah, let's check on Brad Vickens and see if we can get his card. <laughs> yeah, we can steal his ID. Kill. Oh no, he's gone. Because I believe you can get his ID card as well. But you can't really use it. I, I believe I believe it's an alternative for using um, uh, the card we got in the other room. So, I believe uh, if you were fighting Nemesis, I think you can only get it when you're fighting Nemesis. But it's not really needed. Okay. Um, at least they made it possible, so... Yeah. Uh, okay, um, I don't know if we can still open that door. Oh, that's what the lockpick is for. We use the lockpick to open these doors. Okay. So we must carry the lockpick at all times. Uh, if there's a way to discard it, then that's also good because that means we don't have to carry it for very long. Oh, I saw something. I don't know what that was. Um, we'll do a few more things in this game and then we'll finish the video off. So I want to try and get a few other things done as well, so... Oh, there's definitely something here, but I don't know if we need it now. Uh, it's this right here. It's a fire hydrant. It's fixed with bolts. Oh yeah, we need something to get that out. But that is something we need later. Trust me. <laughs> and, it and it creates the funniest puns I can make for Jill Valentine. <laughs> so, yeah. The best pun ever, almost. <laughs> Oh, there's a dog. Alright. Okay. Huh. Huh. No! Oh my god. I'm just gonna kill that dog there. There we go! Lovely. Then the dogs won't come back. I believe it's also random what enemies appear as well in this game, uh, because that corridor, that where we got those blue herbs, some, uh, uh, last time for me, when I did it and I died in there, there were dogs there. But then the other time there were zombies, so I think it's random in some areas as well. So I guess this game is the first to use, like, RNG or something. Reload the gun! There we go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. What dogs deserve if they're naughty? <laughs> okay, uh, well, those dogs at least. Uh, let's go here. I believe this is the garage. I think it is. I could be wrong. Well, not no, not the garage, the parking lot. Of course, and there's dogs here and all. Oh my god. No! Oh, that's free? Well, I can't so... Okay. Alright. Oh no, I'm out! Oh no! I might die! Have I... Okay, I've killed them all, luckily. It's this right here. Charging. Yes, we pull out the power cable. Yes, we'll need that later. Yeah, we're so slow. We don't have any herbs and all, no. Okay. Well, there's a blue herb there. I think it is. Or is it... No, it's just the... It's just uh, if you're poisoned already and uh, you need that de desperately. It's not blue herbs to pick up. Okay. Right, we're in a save room, but I don't know if there's any uh, healing items here. I def I'm desperate for them. Seriously. Um, or ink ribbons. We definitely need them. Um, but I'll do a few more things here, so then... Because um, I need something for those red herbs. I simply don't have them. Jesus Christ. Um, 
Uh, we won't need those cables until later in the game. Uh, I don't know about the blue gem. I forgot about that. So, we're just gonna... Uh, the, the, the chill! <laughs> we do not need to go in there again. Because we're so slow. There's nothing there. At all. We have to go very slow then until we find an herb. <laughs> or at least survive. Oh, no. Wait. No! No! Oh, thank God. <laughs> that was so close. It's best to save here. Um. Yeah, we're going to save here. Because I am desperately in danger. To all of this. The parking lot. Oh, hold on a moment, guys. Uh, you know what, guys? We'll just finish the video off here, actually, because I cannot be bothered to do a lot more today. Because there was a lot of struggling we had to go through. Especially those dogs. It's going to be so annoying to get through them. Like, especially if that happens, they you die instantly. So, next time on Resident Evil 3, we'll go through the rest of the game. So, see you guys next time. Jay, about. See you guys next time. Bye!